Hi, this is Chris Webb. I am the owner of the Science of Fun. And since we are out right now with school being out, I thought that I would read you one of my favorite books. This was my son's favorite book when he was younger. So for some of you, this will be a little bit too young, but just bear with me because it's an awesome book and I think you'll love it too. So at times when we have to be apart, sometimes it's nice to have a little book along with us. This is The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. I'll show you the picture first. That's Chester. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing. Please, may I stay home with you? Ms. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to do, she told him gently, even if they seem strange and scary at first, but you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. read new books, and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem as warm and cozy as your days at home. Now, why is she talking about nights at school? What do you know about raccoons, right? So since they're nocturnal, they're going to school at night. It's kind of funny because right now we're having the opposite thing where we are probably so used to going to school, to school that we are sad to not be at school. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of secret? A very old secret, said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, said Ches asked Chester, what is that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mass tingled with a special warmth. Mwah! She kissed the palm of his hand. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, mommy loves you mommy loves you and that very kiss will jump to your face and fill you with toasty warm thoughts there's all the um other animals going to school she took chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Now, do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. But don't worry, when you open your hand and wash your food, I promise the kiss will stick. So, you know, raccoons take their food and they wash it before they eat it. And so she was saying, don't worry, it won't wash off. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him wherever he went, even to school.
That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Do you know what he's going to do? Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large, familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and an I love you, Chester turned and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across a tree limb and enter school. And as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. Here's some more pictures. That's the hoot owl that rings in the new school year. All the other animals at school. Aw, and here that's sign language for I love you. Can you do that? And then he has the kissing hand right in the middle. So whenever you are not with the people you want to be with, whether you are at home and wish you were at school or at school and wish you were at home, uh, I like to give a kissing hand and know that whoever it is you're missing is right there with you. So from the signs of fun to you, here's our kissing hand. <laughs>